come to give us the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. He did not come to give us prophet, priest, evangelist, prophets, pastors. He did not come to give us the Bible. He did not come to grant us our limbs to, or to even make us happy. Jesus Christ came for one purpose and one purpose alone. And that is to seek and to save that which is lost. If that was the sole purpose for Christ coming to the earth, then do you think that he would neglect our fasting for people to come to salvation before it's too late? That is the heartbeat of God, is the lost. The cry of God is to go out and to get those who are lost. Tell them about me before it's too late. You know, the enemy loves to come in and say, well, maybe this is the case or that's the case, and get us thinking. And get us off track. But as long as we know that we know that we know that it is according to the will of God, there's no stopping us. Somebody can come and tell you that one plus three is four as much as they want. I got that all wrong. But they can tell us that some mathematical equation, something simple like two plus two is five. And they can try to persuade us and do this and do that. But we know that two plus two is four. It's simple. There's no changing our mind. When we know the truth, and there is no changing it, no persuading it, we're dangerous. Information is dangerous. And I don't know what's more dangerous than a child of God that knows who exactly he or she is in Christ. Because the devil likes to tell us this and tell us that and tell us that we're not worthy or why are you doing that? You messed up here or you messed up there. This is going on. You think that you messed up? God's punishing you for something. As long as we know that we're doing what we're supposed to, as long as we know that we're seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, as long as we know who we are in Christ, we're dangerous. As long as we know the infallible word of God and we stick to it unwavering, the devil loves to twist the word of God. And it's not just a matter of manipulating the word of God always, but it's manipulating us in our mind. Well, maybe that's not the case. What does God's word say? One thing that I always go back to is, I don't know, never read. I don't think I'll ever forget in Bible school, Brother Credit holding the Bible up and going, pound the Bible, pound the Bible. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? And for us as Christians, that's where we always need to come back to. Well, what does the Bible say? The Bible says that Jesus came to seek him to save that which loves. So our prayer and fasting is not in vain. Well, what does the Bible say? Well, maybe they're doing this. The Bible says that if he asks anything according to my will, he'll have it. And what is his will? To seek and save that which is lost. The devil comes in. Now, what about this? The Bible says this. As long as we stand for we need to seek and to pray for the lost. And not just seek and pray, but we can fast as well. If we are truly going to see a revival, if we're truly going to see souls saved, we just gotta come in and place in prayer and fast. Does anybody have any thoughts, any questions, anything they want to add? If not, let's bow our heads in prayer and prepare our hearts for service. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you all praise and glory for who you are. It's not through, but it's not us, but it's all about you. And even right now, we rebuke every attack of the enemy that should come our way. That you set your angels at the four corners of the property above and below. That no attack of the enemy may penetrate. That our hearts and our minds will be in one mindset and one accord. That we may worship you sincerity and truth. That the Holy Ghost may move as he so desires, making himself visible if he so chooses. Even right now, Lord, we pray that you join the song leader and the musicians as they lead us in songs and have us to sing. As they praise you upon the string instruments and the roll records. As you anoint the pastor to bring forth your message today, anoint his mind and let's bring forth your words. 
and anoint our minds and our hearts to receive the Lord. May our heart and our mind be good soil for your word to follow, the Lord, that we may remember it throughout the week. But even greater than that, then we may apply it to our hearts. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus.